want to say thank you to all the friends who've supported the Break the Chains tour. This has been a trip of a lifetime, and it's given me an opportunity to talk about something I'm deeply passionate about, the buying and selling of people, especially little girls for sex. We left Santa Monica here and dipped our bikes in the ocean on May 24th, and we traveled 3,000 miles across 13 states, deserts, mountains, cornfields in the Midwest, hills of Missouri, flatlands of Kansas, and, and those ongoing hills in the Appalachians, riding through rain, snow, sleet, blistering sun, and, and more rain. The most dramatic and picturesque parts of the country are probably the Continental Divide, mountains of Colorado, and, and some really incredible sights in, in the deserts of Arizona. We saw some things you'd never see from the seat of an airplane or from the window of a car. Some days we just didn't want to go out in the rain. But we thought then about the girls who are trafficked every day, and we carried pictures of them on our bikes to motivate us to get up and move on. We saw America up front and personal. And we saw big heartedness and generosity of people across the whole country. Our goal was to bring awareness to trafficking through radio and TV ads. But we also, as we shared our story, were given first hand stories of girls who were being trafficked right here. We talked to police who had just been trained in what to spot. And when we got into Columbus, 28 women had just been pulled out of a warehouse. In St. Louis, we found out that some very compassionate people had built a safe home called the Covering House, and in Indianapolis, a similar house with a Cent 121. Several people came to ride with us. We want to say thank you to Mark, Michael, David, Carrie, Bob, Brian, and Michelle. Thanks so much for helping us through those tough days. And thank you so much to the deep generosity of Morgan Stanley and the offices that came out and cheered us on. Clayton, Missouri, Terre Haute, Indianapolis, Dayton, Columbus, Washington, D.C., and especially Barrington, Illinois. Thank you so much. As we were traveling toward the east, we began to run into monuments to the Civil War battles, and we also saw some monuments to safe houses for fugitive slaves in the Underground Railroad. And we finally got to D.C. We went to the Jefferson Memorial. We saw written on the wall, all men are created and are endowed by their creator with inalienable rights. And it took America a while to figure out who deserved all those rights. But what makes us a great nation today is that we agree that all men and women everywhere should be free. Wherever slavery exists, we're called to offer those people the same liberty we enjoy. And if we come together on this, we can eliminate human trafficking and slavery. At the end of the trip, I was sitting on the west lawn of the nation's capital for the 4th of July celebration, listening to Ronan Tynan sing God Bless America. From the mountains to the prairies, oceans white with foam. God bless America, my home sweet home. It's filled with emotion just thinking about the things that we'd seen across this great land. Well, the trip has officially ended, but the issue of slavery and sex trafficking continues. So to tackle this problem, we need people with an ongoing concern for our sisters and our daughters here at home and, and across the sea. And would you consider getting involved personally on a local level? Or would you consider ongoing support of those who are doing a tremendous job in this space? I personally want to thank Bright Hope and International Justice Mission who have exposed this issue. And you can continue staying involved with them at brighthope.org and ijm.org. I encourage you to do so. You might never go coast to coast on a bike ride, but when you're prompted to do something to help those who are vulnerable, don't say no. You'll never know where that ride will take you.